3, the following quadratic equations have two real and different roots. So it means it has two roots which is different. So we know that when we have two roots which is different, we are using b squared minus 4ac. Two different roots is larger than zero. So we usually have three condition which is this one two different root if it is equal to do, uh, to zero that's mean two equal root and if it is smaller than zero that means it has no real root so basically this one is two different and real root two equal and real root and this one is no real root so when it mentioned two real and different root so we are using b square minus 4ac is larger than zero okay a we have x x plus 1 is equal to rx minus 4 so to get b square minus 4ac larger than zero we must put it in general form which is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero from this only can we can get our a b and c so in this case we have to expand it and arrange it in this form so x times x is x square x times 1 is x is equal to rx minus 4 so we bring everything to the left we have x square plus x rx positive when we bring it to the left it become negative rx negative 4 become positive 4 and here we have so we see here b is the one in front of x we can combine x is actually 1x so 1 minus r x so we see we are taking up x plus 4 is equal to 0 so here a is what is in front of x square which is 1 b is equal to 1 minus r and c is equal to 4 you see here this one the one without any x b square minus 4ac is larger than 0 so b is 1 minus r 1 minus r square minus 4 a is 1 c is 4 is larger than 0 so we expand this one here 1 square is 1 2 times negative r times 1 we get negative 2r and negative r and this one r square is r square 4 times 4 is 16 16 times negative is negative 16 larger than zero so here we have so r square this one is r square minus 2 r 1 minus 16 is negative 15 larger than zero so we see here our r is positive so we can factorize this so here 15 is actually 5 times 3 so this one is 1 times 1 in order to get negative 2 so negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2 right so r minus 5 r plus 3 is larger than 0 so we see here whenever we have larger this one larger than 0 that means the value the last value is split so here r minus 5 r is equal to 5 right here and r plus 3 r plus c is equal to 0 r we get negative 3 this one is negative 3 so the value is split so this one is the smallest one this one is a smaller one so r is smaller than negative 3 or this one is 5 right r is larger than 5 so whenever you see here larger than 0 or larger equal to 0 that means the final range need to be split up why because when we sketch it so we have here negative 3 and 5 when it is larger than 0 the value is somewhere out here so smaller than negative 3 and larger than 5 b x square plus x is equal to 2 r x minus r square so we want to arrange it in a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 and bring everything on the right here to the left so here is x square plus x 2 r x this one is positive but it enters left section it will become negative 2 r x and negative r square will become positive r square is equal to zero so here is x square so we want what is in front of x you see b so we have 
factorizing this one you see you can take out x x is actually 1x so here we have 1 minus 2r x plus r square is equal to 0 so here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 minus 2r and c is equal to r square you see here what is in front of x square is a what is in front of x is b and then the one without any x is c <coughs> b square minus 4 a c so b square minus 4 a c is larger than 0 so b is 1 minus 2 r square minus 4 a is 1 c is r square is larger than 0 so here when we expand so this one is actually i'm using the formula key where to write so here is a minus b square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square this is the formula right but what actually, what, what actually happened is that first we square the front one i mean if we expand it normally a minus b this one a minus b times a minus b you will still get the same answer okay so this one you square the first one so one square is one and then you multiply everything inside two times negative two r times r you get negative four r and then here 2r square you get 4r square okay 4 times 1 is negative negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times r minus 4r square is larger than 0 so here you are cutting off the r 4r square so you are left with 1 minus 4r so what we wanted to have is r right and this is what you should see okay you see here this one 1 minus r is on the see the large section so here it is larger than zero so when 4r move to the other side is moving at the section which is smaller than so you see here the area is smaller than this one you have one so 4r is smaller than one you see here this one you have even you change place but the symbol should be equal see one is larger than 4r or 4r is smaller than one so r is smaller than one over four